Hey guys, good morning. So, um, I'm at Abuja presently. Hey guys, so I'm at Abuja, and after that beautiful breakfast, I'm going to be jogging, so warm up this morning. Um, like I said, I'm going to be training, I'm going to be in Abuja for the next um, 11 days before the tournament comes up on the 23. Today is today's 14, so in the next uh, nine days actually. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my training. So I'm right now. I was gonna warm. I was gonna warm up. All right. I want to jog for like um, 30 minutes. I'm gonna jog for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna stretch for 20 minutes. All right. So guys, stay tuned. Let's go. Go. All right. So I'm out here to start my jogging. 30 minutes of jogging and 20 minutes of stretch. So the Amatan is out in Abuja. Uh, you know, breathing is gonna be kind of hard a little bit. So. Me jogging up to like 30 minutes, it's really going to prepare me and really improve my endurance for the competition. All right, so it's a great way for me to, to build that endurance and be ready for my situation. 30 minutes non stop jogging and some other drills. All right, please don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. Yeah, that's it. Woo! That was very, very intensive. 30 minutes straight. So how can you achieve that? All right? The only way you can achieve that is any time you set for yourself, whether it's 10 minutes, whether it's 15 minutes, just complete it. You don't need to go 30 minutes straight, all right? You can start with five minutes. And gradually, you start increasing the time. All right? But make sure the time you set for yourself, you accomplish that. All right? It's time to stretch. Stay tuned. I rest for a while, man. <laughs> yeah, I have to catch my breath so that I can stretch properly. Because if you don't catch your breath and you're going to stretch in, you're just gonna you're just gonna feel um, so fatigued and you're not gonna be able to do anything. So you have to catch your breath for like uh, five minutes, take some water, and we go and stretch. So for tennis players, stretching is very, very important <laughs> because it helps you improve your flexibility and your endurance, actually, right? And it helps you to um, um, lower the risk of getting injured. So it's very, very important to stretch. Not just for tennis players. If you are participating in tennis, you have to always stretch because most of all your joints are working it's like your whole body parts are working so you have to stretch all right it's necessary to stretch out so these are varieties of stretching exercise i'm doing to keep my body mobile all right to be ready to move and achieve that great mobility on the core enjoy guys please don't forget to subscribe like and share with your loved ones. Now, after the stretching, I decided to do some footwork to keep me ready since I want to hit some balls after this. So, I decided to do some um, agility drills to keep my legs, my toe, my feet ready for what's coming ahead of me in court. <laughs> It's very, very important. The footwork is very, very, the coordination of the body is very, very important to achieve um, a very good strokes on court. I'd like you to stay tuned and enjoy. Watch the video to the end. Please like and subscribe. I'm sure you're gonna pick some little things from here that's really gonna if you start doing that's really gonna help improve your exams because this is a this is this is the work all right what you do off court makes you a champion it's not just on court what you do on court is like um 30 percent i tell you and what you do off court is like 70 percent yeah and your mental aspect your you know your body your physical aspect these are things that are very vital when it comes to tennis you know, tennis is a whole package, like it's a full package. <laughs> it's not just about working hard. You have to make sure you're working hard the right way towards your goal. You know, you have to set your goals and achieve that. 
So after that, I decided to stretch. Uh, this is my playing partner, my playing partner rather, Emmanuel, who I'm going to be knocking with. And here we are on court. So warming up from the half court. Well, what the half court does is it helps. Uh, uh, it helps to to organize your body actually. And the half court is gonna be it's more of movement, you know, taking that short short step to really organize your body towards the strokes to keep you ready for the next thing ahead. So it's always it's always good to start from the half court. I always call it the engine room of the whole court because the half court is where you start organizing your strokes gradually. So here we are, we decided to take a cross court to keep it going. Then we moved again, we moved down to the backhand cross court. Here yeah, I am taking the volley on the backhand cross court. So please, I would like you to subscribe, like, share, please don't forget. Here we have, we move on to the baseline, decided to take the backhand cross court. This is very, very important. I, 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 my backhand is a little bit sluggish and um, I'm not generating enough power I need to generate on that backhand. So I decided to really work on the backhand cross court because it's very, very important. All right? If you're having a weak backhand, you're in trouble because your opponent is always going to come in there and, you know, always going to be coming there to pick up points. So I'm trying to make sure my backhand is solid and ready for the tournament ahead. Because in this competition, I want to give it my best, my best and my hope. By God's grace, and it's really going to happen. Right, so stay tuned and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Do or die, you. you hear me? Do or die. <laughs> All right. So after some minutes of rallying on the cross court backhand, I decided to go cross court forehand. Very, very important. Cross court forehand is very, very. It's an important stroke in tennis. It's an important shot in tennis, rather. A cross court forehand. All right. You need to always uh, build that cross court forehand because it's like it's like a, it's like a, 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 a tennis shot that's going to keep you back in the game. All right. If your cross cut is not solid enough, you won't be able to to stabilize in the game. You won't be able to rally. You won't be able to 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 make points because it's like it's like a setup point. You set up shots, a cross cut shot on the one. It sets up shot for you to keep you in the game, and you see it's also a point to it's a point like more of a de defensive shot to keep you in the game, right? So it's very very important to build that cross cut shot to stabilize you in points of rally so stay tuned and enjoy please don't forget to subscribe like and share with loved ones all right actually i'm, I'm kind of really struggling on the court but you know uh, my mentality is i want to get better so I'm able to pull through, I'm able to stabilize steady by steady. This is just the first um, training. I know by the time I go second, third, fourth, it's going to be tremendous because I believe and you know, I'm, I'm ready to do everything possible to, to get me in that um, and stability to get me into that gameplay. And you see, the most important thing on the on the baseline when you're hitting that cross is your balance. Your balance takes says it off, all, right? If you're balanced, you're going to be able to utilize that stroke. So you're going to be able to hit that ball. So that's the major part I'm working on. The cut is kind of slippery, and I'm trying to like you know get used to it because this is not my training place actually. So it's I still feel strange, but I know it's a lot of practice, and you know I'm going to get used to the court and organize my shots more properly and 
more stability and balance into the game. So stay tuned and enjoy, watch to the end. Please don't forget to subscribe. This helps me to build a YouTube channel. Yeah, that's one of my best cross cut shots in <laughs> the training there. <laughs> Alright, so I decided to take on the volley to wrap it up. You know, uh, the volley is also an important important stroke in tennis. This is very, very important to finish up your points. Alright. So if you are this guy that is the, if you have this person who is building a defense, you have to always be work on your attack. And volley is more of an attacking shot actually you, you get so defending 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 you get your chance inside the court you have to go in there and you know ready to finish up the points it's very very important shot that i'm going to be making use in this tournament um, <clears throat> so i'm trying to work on it and then build it through please don't forget to like subscribe and share Alright, so my playing partner Imana decided to come to the net and I'm hitting from the baseline also so that I can understand the pressure of someone coming into the baseline, you know. It's got the someone coming in into the court to put and you hit into the baseline from the baseline. And it was fun. So guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.